Welcome to another segment of Talking Over Old Times. This is Don Trosper, Public History Manager for the Olympia Tumwater Foundation, and in this segment, I'd like to continue with part two of the history of the business that made Tumwater and Olympia famous, the Olympia Brewing Company. By the turn of the century and into the early 1900s, the growth of the Schmitz operation was nothing short of phenomenal. It was not only the largest employer in our area, but most would say it was the best. There are many reasons for saying that. First of all, it was a top quality operation right from the start. Leopold Schmidt had graduated from a respected brewing school in Worms, Germany, where he learned the scientific method of brewing beer, a new concept for its time. This meant utilizing top quality ingredients such as pure artesian water, the very best grains and hops, and the highest standards for sanitary conditions throughout the entire brewing process. It also meant a commitment to safety at the plant for the highest wages for the employees and a heartfelt philanthropic commitment to their communities of Tumwater and Olympia. The Schmitz helped with many projects and services, such as street lighting and fire protection for Tumwater, support for Priest Point Park for Olympia, an employee and community building called the Tumwater Club, support for community sports teams, schools, and helping the less fortunate during the holidays and throughout the year. Here's the curator of the archives at Historic Schmidt House in Tumwater, Karen Johnson, with more. Thank you, Don. The iconic brick structure we see today on the original site was a product of that amazing growth of the brewery operation. Their marketing was top-notch too, as you can see in some of these photos. In fact, it was early in 1902 that Leopold Schmidt adopted the familiar slogan, It's the Water. Also that year, the Schmidts changed the company's name from Capital Brewing to Olympia Brewing. Transporting the beer to market had been accomplished via shallow draft boats and a flat car that was pulled by the electric streetcar line from Tumwater to the docks in Olympia. But now, a rail line and bridge were built directly to the brewery. In 1905 and 1906, the brick brew house was built and still stands today. The Schmitz were innovative in technology, too. Peter G. Schmidt, the eldest son, became the youngest brewmaster in the nation, but he also loved engineering and design, inventing new and improved ways of doing things. When Leopold, the founder, passed away in 1914, Peter took over the reins of the growing operation. Before long, he had to face a major setback, Prohibition, which completely shut down the operation at the end of 1915. But the Schmitz were resilient, and they now retooled the brewery to produce a non-alcoholic apple juice product. World War I sugar shortages, however, played havoc with that business, so they eventually gave it up. But even before Prohibition, the Schmidt family had diversified their efforts into other enterprises, so they switched their focus to their existing hotel management and construction business, as well as transportation. Mm -hmm. 